Thank you all for joining us today to learn about Bluebeam Review 2015. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, here is a summary of all of the uh, features and topics that I'm planning to cover today. A lot of these features are geared around organization, uh, markup, the punch workflow, document, and collaboration. And if at any point you do have a question, please do use that Q&A panel. Angela will jump in. Or at the end, I will also uh, do my best to answer those questions as well. So let's dive right into those organization features. And to do so, we're going to take a look at uh, batch slip sheet, batch overlay, and batch compare documents. So with batch slip sheet, what I'm actually going to do is show you the original slip sheet mechanism prior to review 2015. And then we'll see the new batch slip sheet feature so you can just get a, a, a good feeling for how it exists now and then how it exists with review 2015, as well as for those folks that may be not familiar with what uh, slip sheeting is uh, within Bluebeam. Uh, note the batch slip sheet feature is only available in review extreme. So let's take a look at batch slip sheet by first doing a regular slip sheet. What I'm going to do here is open up a document that you may have, and in this particular scenario, you may have some markups like stamps and clouds and text on the document. You get an updated document, and you now want to update to the active document, and now this one becomes out of date. Rather than losing all the information on the document, Bluebeam allows you to slip sheet for uh, what is called replace pages. So what I'm going to do is just show you this, the existing functionality of replace pages, and then we'll do the batch slip sheet so you can get a good feel for how this batch slip sheet feature works and how great it is at improving your workflow. So in this case, I'm just going to hit replace pages. I'm going to browse to my revised document, in this case, a just a simple revision one here. Um, when I go through this exercise, as soon as I hit OK, it's going to then replace, and I know on this document, it's going to replace an area of content right here. So what you see is I'll hit OK. Now as I zoom in, it populated this area with that revised section, kept my markups in here, kept my stamp on the document, and now I'm off and running in whatever uh, stage of the project I'm in, say this is construction administration. So let me close this out, and now go up to File, Batch, and you'll see this new command in Bluebeam Review Extreme 2015 called Slip Sheet here. Uh, it's just a simple process of adding your current page, adding your revised. So I'm going to go in here and opt to add a folder of files. Go to where my files are. So here are my original files. It queues them up here. We'll go down, add in my folder of revised files. Ooh, interesting. There we go. Add my folder of revised files. Down below. And now what you'll notice is it's going to actually match pages or what's called an automate match functionality. So it's going to do its best to read the file names and then match them accordingly so you don't have to manually do it, although you can manually do it. Uh, the process here is defined either by file name, page labels, page regions, or like I noted, you could do it manually. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to hit match and what you'll notice is it now comes up with a dialog where it's showing you, okay, A201 over here is matched to A201 revision 1 on the right. So it automatically matched them. However, you have the ability to reorganize and delete the pages here. Uh, and then furthermore, in this bottom dialog, there's a lot of flexibility built into how you want to define your particular slip sheet uh, workflow. So the first one here is you have the insert, the ability to insert these revised pages before the current page. Or you could do what I had shown previously where you could just straight replace that page and you'll note if you do a straight page replace, it gives you options for copying markups and flattening and unflattening markups that may exist on the original document. Uh, you'll see if I toggle back down here to insert, it will also give you the ability to stamp the original page as superseded. So it puts a big superseded stamp or watermark across that original document for you. Uh, in this particular exercise, I'm just going to do a straight replace pages here with the content. I'm going to hit OK. And what you'll notice is it runs through that process, it generates a nice report for you. As you hover over the report, it shows you where all these files are. Now at this point in the stage, you have the ability to uh, create a report, a PDF document report or a CSV report. You can dictate the options you want housed or contained in the report. You can dictate the name of that file if you want, and then also the location of where it places the report. 
Or alternatively, if you don't create a report, you would just end up with all of your substituted files in your output folder. In this case, I'm going to create the report. Uh, hit OK here, and now what you see is it added a new batch summary PDF document. And then in this report, it's complete with hyperlinks to these files. So it told me the documents it slip sheeted, it even will report against anything that was unmatched, revise the current sheets, so if there were things that didn't get matched, or if you have more than one revision, it will tell you which one was matched and then which one wasn't. Uh, but now more importantly, if I go in here and click on that document, uh, what you'll now see is here's this A201, it's slip sheeted, and like I had shown in the first exercise, here's that new revision one content. I uh, can close out of here and now go to the A203 revision or the A300 uh, revision in this series. Again, with that batch slip sheet, really saves you and automates uh, the process. So it saves you a bunch of time with this automized uh, step. So switching gears from uh, batch summary, now I'm gonna jump over to batch overlay. So batch overlay, uh, the process is very similar to batch slip sheet. Uh, the main difference here is now you end up with a layered uh, file. Uh, the layers are differentiated by color. Uh, you can now accept multiple files. So prior to 2015, the overlay command was just limited to a single one page at a time overlay, or you, you'd have to do it for essentially one floor plan at a time, if you will. Uh, and then it also incorporated that auto matching functionality. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to go up here to batch. We're going to go down to overlay pages. And again, we're going to queue up the files that we want to overlay. In this case, I'm just going to add folders of files. So here's my original folder with its three documents in this case. And then here's my revised. I'm going to jump over here, grab those revisions. Again, the matching, the auto match functionality, we can drive by file name, page label, page region. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just match them. You'll notice that it picked up A201, and then in this case, I threw in a little uh, kind of wrench and changed these file names. So you see it does a really good job of matching the corresponding file names. So 201 to 201, 203 to 203. The nice part here is everything on the left will be layered in a color that's red. Everything on the right is layered in a color that's green. You can edit and dictate these layer colors, as well as if I select the files here, you can reorder, add, or remove from this location as well. And then here it's showing you where the output folder is, and then you can browse there. So once I hit OK, it goes through that batch overlay, presents a report, so a preliminary report here, as well as you have the option to create a PDF or CSV format report, pick the location for the output, and then you're off and running. So I'll hit OK, generate my batch summary PDF report for the overlay. And now within here, I've got my hyperlinks to all of my overlay pages that I can use to navigate and view the results. So here I can click on and see the overlay file uh, for A201 and then A201 revision two. You'll notice when we jump over to the layers tab from the left side panel that the layers are available. And then if I toggle off the revision two, you'll see A201 all in red. Toggle on the revision two where the red and green overlap, you get black and then the solid green indicates changes for revision two. So here you can quickly see the changes between those documents. I go back in here. Now with the batch operation, you'll see the changes for other documents as well. Again, automating that process and saving you time. All right, so that's batch overlay. Let's wrap up the last batch feature with batch compare. So batch compare is available in Bluebeam Review version 12. But uh, what they've added now is the auto matching functionality that we we're seeing in batch overlay and batch slip sheet. So real quick on this one, go up to the file batch. We're going to do compare. You'll see within here we can queue up our files. So I'm going to add my original files. I'm going to add my revised files. And again, dictate how I want to uh, auto match based off of the uh, pre selections here. I'll hit match. Again, it auto matched directly here. And now the rest is a very similar workflow to what we just seen with batch slip sheet and batch overlay. So I'll hit OK. It does the batch comparisons, gives you the report. Again, you have the option to output your report, PF, or CSV. Uh, name the summary file if you'd like and pick your output folder. This okay, this, <clears throat> in this occasion, I'm just going to hit OK. Generate that batch summary report again. 
And then voila, here are all of our uh, batch comparisons. And just for clarity, I'll click on this one and you'll see what it's doing. What batch comparison will do is it adds cloud markups to indicate the changes. So here it's identified an area where these walls were added. Here it's indicated where the walls have shifted and it's clouded those with uh, markups and you'll see those markups all are identified in the markups list. All right, outstanding. So that wraps up the uh, features under uh, organization and batch. Now I wanna switch gears and talk about sets. So with review 2015, the sets feature has been overhauled and added on. The biggest one is that you can now add uh, sheet categories. So you can categorize all your sheets based off of a specific discipline. These are configurable, uh, as well as there have been some automatic revision filter enhancements. So let's take a look at this. Uh, actually, before I do, one, one note here is that be wary that when you're doing sets in version uh, Bluebeam Review 2015, uh, it's not supported in prior versions. So Review 12 or earlier will not support sets 3.0. Just want to be clear on that with your team that everyone's using 2015 uh, from this point forward if you want to take advantage of this new sets feature. So let's go over here. I'm going to jump over to the sets tab. I'm just going to generate a new set. Uh, it gives you a nice indicator here. So just letting you know this is only for uh, 2015. Prior versions it won't support. And now in this exercise, I'm going to go in and add in my uh, folder of documents. And what you'll notice is even before I get to that location, it says select a categories template. So the default one out of the box here is construction. You'll notice if I go in here to templates, what it's doing is it's defined all of these categories for you with an associated filter key. So it searches for uh, these filters and then assigns them to the categories. The nice part about this dialog is it allows you to reorder the assignment of these categories, delete and add. I can double click in here and also edit and customize as well. And then you'll notice up here, you can save as and import and share these particular templates across uh, with multiple users or multiple teams as well. So let me hit okay. Let me hit okay. Let me go to those uh, files that I want to bring in. So I'm gonna take this project set folder here and all the subfolders. And what you'll notice is all the architectural sheets are now aligned with the architectural category. And as we drive down, we've got the structural sheets in the structural category and then mechanical and electrical. And uh, we got a plumbing sheet in there as well. So they've all been automatically categorized. You can see that auto category feature here is turned on. Note, you can manually define these categories as you add sheets as well. Now, moving on to that revision feature I talked about. So if I jump over here to advance, what you'll notice is um, in sets uh, version 12 or sets 2.0, you had the ability to apply a revision filter. In this uh, Bluebeam Review 2015 edition, you now have this auto feature. So with auto, what it's gonna do is it's gonna try to do its best to automatically detect the naming convention and then assign those uh, revised sheets accordingly. In this case, I have a protocol here where I wanna cross out the stack. Uh, you'll also see that it gives you the ability to copy your markups from uh, original documents to the newly added revisions, flatten and unflatten our options, and then you even have the ability to mark them as superseded with a big stamp. In this case, I'm just gonna stay with the cross out and stacking of the revision protocol. So I'll hit okay. I'm actually gonna step back in now and add some additional revised files. So I'm gonna grab these three architectural sheets that have been revised, I'll hit open. You'll notice that these sheets were automatically categorized. So here's A201 revision one, revision two, still falling under architectural. Now from here, I'm gonna hit that go button, generate the set. You'll see it generated the set on the left and then it automatically matched and it's just giving me confirmation of those matches. So A201 was matched to A201 revision one. And now what you'll also see is down in this dialog, so you can also reorder here and delete if there was any uh, changes you needed to make manually. And then lastly, down here in the bottom, you can uh, click OK to copy markups from current pages to revise, or you can skip, so use that little skip button there and just add the files to the set without modifying the pages. Really giving you granular control over what you wanna do and how you wanna manage your document sets all along uh, this automation process. So in this particular case here, I'm going to hit OK. All right, now what you'll notice in the sets panel on the left, I'm going to minimize all of these categories. So here are the categories. 
And now it's very easy for me to navigate and say, all right, there's my architectural sheets. And then as we go down in here, you'll see the uh, standard behavior of crossing out and stacking my previous revisions. Again, a single click on these documents will navigate to the document or the revised document uh, right in the uh, viewing space. Another great part is if you opt to use the list view. So if I change to a list view, I can see all of these categories, expand the categories, see the stack of revisions, and navigate through that document set uh, very uh, quick, very easy, very efficiently. The other nice part about uh, Sets 3.0 is the ability to automatically compare or overlay any of the revised files. So I'm going to switch back to thumbnails, go down to um, A201 here where there's a revision, right click and you'll see on the right click you can automatically compare these two documents or overlay them directly from the Sets feature. Again, really saves you a tremendous amount of time but also gives you insight into exactly what changed and what didn't change with just a simple right click right in that set feature. All right, outstanding. So that wraps up organization.